First Peter, Amen. chapter 5. I'm going to start at the first verse and read down to verse 10. Amen. Amen. And I want to read the Living Translation. Five. That's all right. I'll give y'all a few moments. First Peter. First Peter chapter 5. And I'm going to start at the first verse. Amen. Amen. I'm about the Holy Spirit to lead. Amen. Y'all ready? Amen. Amen. And the word of God reads, And now a word to you who are elders in the churches. I too am an elder and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And I too will share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. As a fellow elder, I appeal to you. Care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly. Not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. Yes. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the might power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Right. Give all your worries and cares yeah. to God, for he cares about you. Yeah. This is the one you to pay attention to. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of sufferings you are. In his kindness, God called you to share his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. Yes. So after you have suffered a little while, mm -hmm. he, will be, he will restore, support, yes. and strengthen you. Yes. And he will place you on firm foundation, all power to him forever. Amen. Thank you for your blessing. Yes. Oh, let us go to the throne of grace and the posture of ourselves. As we just receive the Holy Spirit, receive him. Amen. Amen. Father God, oh Lord, we come before you, oh God, rejoicing on today, Lord God. Yes. Father God, we thank you, God, because this is the day that you have made, Lord God. Your word says we are to rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, because every day is a gift, Lord God. Father God, we thank you, oh Lord God, that we are able to assemble together, God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, because none of us knew, Lord God, whether we would be here today or not. But Father God, we are grateful, Lord God, that you have given us, Lord God, the breath of life one more time. So Holy Spirit, we welcome you in the place, Holy Spirit, we ask that you have your way and that you do what it is that you want to do. So Father God, we just thank you, oh Lord God. We thank you for everything that you've done for us, Lord God. We thank you for our life, health, and strength, God. The fact that we're in our right minds, oh God. The fact that everything is working, Lord God, those are able to see, hear, smell, touch, Lord God, speak, whatever it is, oh God, walk, Lord God, we are thankful, oh God, because God it didn't have to be that way, but it was. So, Lord God, we just come on today, preparing our hearts and minds, Lord God, to receive you, God, whatever it is that you put out in the atmosphere, oh God, we, allow, we just allow ourselves, oh God, to be open, Lord God. Father God, breathe on us right now, Lord God, whatever it is that you want us to absorb, oh God, we can find you on today, God, to absorb you, oh God, so that God, we can be prepared to run into the world, oh God, to do what you want us to do. So Father God, we are grateful and glad, God, we are happy, glad, as our minister of rights says, oh God, just thankful, God, just grateful, God, there should be no other way to be but thankful and grateful, God. So, Lord, we thank you, God, for our families that are here. We thank you, oh God, that we woke up to see our children this morning, God. We thank you, oh God, we woke up to speak to our mothers or fathers or, or, or grandparents or those that are still here. God, we are grateful, God, that God, we woke up this morning with the roof over our head, oh God. We are able to clothe ourselves and clothe God. Yes, yes, yes. Father God, we are just grateful for everything. So much to thank you for. I can go on and on, but God, you know it, God. We are just so, Lord, have your way in this place. Speak through the man of God that is coming through today, oh, Lord God. I know that you have a mighty word that you have planted on the inside of him, oh, God. 
And I pray, oh God, that that word that you planted, Lord God, will reap a bountiful harvest. God, I said, those out there will be sent out to do what it was sent out to do. And that was, Lord God, that your people will be receptive by the day. So, Father God, I thank you, oh God, once again, God. Holy Spirit, have your way. Spirit of the living God, do it. Because if you don't do it, it won't be done. So, God, we give all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord, church. Amen. Let's give God the glory this morning. Amen. Coming to welcome you this morning to St. Judah, whether you're joining us here in the service or as Minister Dolores said by social media, we are happy, glad, yes sir, to have you in the house. Amen. Uh, coming with the announcements. Um,
children today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Young people are in the house. We are delivered. We are set free, oh God. So, Father God, I pray. 
pray, oh God, for families today, Lord God. Those families that are going through, God, a hard time right now that are distressing, Lord God, whether it's husbands and wives, relationships, oh God, with children, oh God, whatever it is, a mess, oh God, that you would blend the families back together, oh Lord God. And during this time, Lord God, it's not a time for separation, no division, God, but it's the time, Lord God, that we ought to come together tighter, Lord God, to never be full, Lord God, because the adversary, God, we know he's out there like a roaring lion right now, Lord God. He's seeking whom he can devour and destroy. He's attacking the weak. So, Father, I'm praying right now, Lord God, that you would give us strength, God, that you would give us wisdom, Lord God, that you would give us revelation, Lord God. Show us what to do, Lord God. Because, Lord God, even though, Lord God, a lot of people may not have been in the, the church building itself, Lord God, and they're at home and they're not around others, Lord God, they're, they're weakening, God. Help us to be anchored in you so that we won't fall, God. So that we won't float away, oh God. That we will stay connected to you, oh God. We don't want to be like the, 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 the fig tree uh, that was dried up and withered up, Lord God, that wasn't able, that's not able to produce fruit. We don't want to be like that, Lord God. We want to be able to produce fruit, Lord God. And so, Father God, help us, Lord God. Wherever we are struggling, Lord God, help us, Lord God. Put a big mirror in front of us right now, Lord God. Help us to see the truth, Lord God. To see ourselves, Lord God, for who we really are, Lord God. Because it's not a time to be pity patting around or a time to be sugar coating, Lord God. But it's a time we gotta see the raw truth, Lord God, so we can get it right, God. Because we don't know when that time is gonna come. Don't know. So Lord, help us to be ready. Don't know. Mm. Help us to get ready. Help us, Lord God, to not only be selfish, Lord help God, but to give ourselves, Lord God, to help the next person, Lord God, too, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to go on, Lord God, and to grab someone's hand, Lord God. Let them know, Lord God, that you are God. Let them know that you are love, Lord God. Whether it be the stranger on the street, Lord God, whether it be the homeless, whether it be a family member, Lord God, our neighbor, God, a child, God, doesn't matter to anybody, oh Lord God, in the grocery store, the gas pump station, Lord God, wherever, oh God, help us, God. Whether it be on Facebook, even sending a message, God. Help us, Lord God, to not think of ourselves only, but to always think of someone else, Lord God. And so, Lord God, I just thank you, God, for sending you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I'm praying right now that your name, God, protection be upon us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to be planted and rooted in you, O oh Lord God. It's so rooted and grounded, Lord God, that no matter what comes through, Lord God, we will not be shaken. That we will continue, God, to go on, Lord God. Father God, I just thank you, O oh Lord God. And there's anything, Lord God, that anyone is in need of, Lord God, I know that you are hearing the prayers, Lord God, and you are seeking. God, I know the hearts and minds of the people, oh God. I'm asking you right now, Lord God, that you will fulfill everything, Lord God, that is sent up today, Lord God. And Lord God, help us, oh God, to leave it at the altar, Lord God, and not pick it back up, but trust you, oh God, because we have to walk in faith, Lord God, knowing that once we leave here, God, this is already done. So, Father God, I'm praying for our families, those that we left at home, or those that may be away right now, Lord God. Praying for those that are traveling right now, oh God. Praying, oh God, that you would be with them, oh God, that God, you would just God, cover them, oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for our life, God. We are our, 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 I just thank you that I didn't hear of any tragedies, Lord God, with the church concerning COVID. And with that, we know, oh God, that your hand is on us, oh God. And I thank you, Father God. And I thank you, Lord God, for being faithful, God. So, Lord, I'm just praying, God, right now, that if there's any heart and hearts, Lord God, or anything, Lord God, whether like there's an all against a brother or sister or whatever it is, God, fix it, God, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, soften our hearts, oh God, so that we can walk up right before you, God. We ain't got time, Lord God. We don't have time, God. Our time is, 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 is limited right now, God. So we got to get what we got to get our hand, God. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Touch, God, every part that's aching, God, every pain, Lord God. Everything that anyone may be going through right now, even secretly going through, Lord God. Because we don't know all of what everybody's going through. They don't tell their business, God, but you know it. Yeah. And so, Lord God, whoever's secretly crying at home or whoever's secretly depressed or whoever's secretly, Lord God, being abused, whatever they're going through, Lord, please, God, I'm asking God to invade those homes, Lord God, yeah. and saturate with your spirit and your presence. So, Father God, we thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. God, we can't thank you enough, Lord thank God. There's no, not so too many thanks, Lord God, that we can give because God, just, we just, you're just so good, Lord God. We just go on and on, God, about how great you are, God. Oh God, so Lord, I just pray, God, that your presence, Lord God, will continue, Lord God, to penetrate the atmosphere, God, in this place, Lord. And that not only will it stop right here, but God, when we go out, Lord God, that your presence, Lord God, will still be there, Lord. God, help us, oh God. Mm. Help us, Lord God, to carry it, Lord. So, Father God, it is in your precious name, God, that I lift this prayer up to you, Lord. Just knowing, God, that it's already done. 
And Jesus' name.